Hey guys, today's tutorial is actually more of an experiment. I tried a couple of days ago. I've tried working with paint before in the past, acrylic paint, and it didn't work well for me. It didn't cure right. And I think what might have happened is that I maybe used too much. I see other crafter videos and uh, one of them in particular was saying that, oh, it totally works. You just, uh, you want to try using some thicker paint. So I have that. I have some thicker paint and I also have some like kind of waterier paint that I picked up at Walmart for like a buck. And I also wanted to try using it and comparing it to this stuff that is supposed to be for resin. Um, I don't know what this is made of. I've tried finding ingredients and whatever, and I really am curious if it is just acrylic or oil paint that has just been packaged like this. I didn't record the experiment itself, but I did take pictures to show you how much paint I incorporated into how much resin and all of that. And I took about five milliliters of resin each time and mixed an amount of paint. And I also did a control piece and the control piece has no colorant in it at all because I wanted to be able to compare the hardness compared to the pieces where it was just a little bit of paint as you can see and the pieces that have more paint they have more pigment in them which are these ones right here and then these ones are the ones that are done with this specific resin pigment and I did a little dollop right here and then I did a bigger dollop right here so I want to take them out of the mold and I want to see what they feel like and how they cured and all of that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop out the control piece first. And that feels good. It was a nice hard cure, definitely cured right. And now I'm going to take out the pieces that had just a little dollop of paint. And I'll show you in the picture how much a little dollop is. So I'm going to take out the yellow one and I'm going to take out this aqua one. The yellow one was a thicker paint, like was suggested in the video I spoke of where they said, oh, you know, just use a thicker one. So that's what I went ahead and did is I used that one. And this one is from that. And right off the bat, they feel good. It feels like it is a hard cure. Yeah, it feels very close to the control piece. It's just about the same. Now I'm going to check out the ones that I put more pigment into. And they also feel quite hard. I mean, they kind of catch on the back. I don't know, we'll come back to that. All right, and then here is the aqua one that also feels pretty hard. Now I'm gonna pop out the ones that I used the specific resin colorant for. Definitely feels like a hard cure. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with all of them. One thing I did notice is this goes a lot further. Like you use a little tiny bit and it's more pigmented for sure. I used the same size dollop for this one, this one, and this one. And you can see how this one is more opaque than these other ones. And this one, I did the same amount as I did in these ones, the same size dollop. And uh, it's super pigmented. So this stuff will go a lot farther. It'll last you longer. All right. And while I am happy with how do they feel out of the mold, um, the other video I saw did say that it takes longer for them to cure. And I think that was a problem I had last time was I just checked it too quick and I compared it to other pieces that didn't have the paint in it. So I waited a few days this time to make sure. Like I said, I'm happy with how they feel out of the mold, but I kind of want to see how they react in some realistic circumstances like against the skin because a lot of the times when we make resin jewelry it is going against the skin and that will heat it up and even when you have the hardest curing resin and all of that when it comes into contact with skin and stays there for a while it does tend to get a little bit more malleable so I want to see what happens when I turn these into pendants and I wear them against the skin for a while and how they feel then. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll report back with my findings. Okay, I'm back. 
So I took all of the resin pieces and I turned them into charms and I put them on this necklace and I wore the necklace for about an hour and I made sure all of them were touching the skin and all of that. And I have to say they all pretty much feel the same. None of them felt tackier than the other ones. The paint wasn't any different than the pigment that is supposed to be for resin and they all feel like the control piece. So I want to go ahead and say that I will agree that acrylic paint works when you put it in resin. And this is pretty baffling to me because you're not supposed to incorporate any kind of water or like that kind of moisture into your pieces or it's supposed to inhibit the curing. So the fact that it didn't is pretty extraordinary, but I'll take it. And now we're finished. This wraps up our little experiment. I hope you learned a lot from this. I know I certainly did. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.